I am your endocannabinoid system. Seven tips to keep me healthy. The Hemp Herald, a special message from your endogenous cannabinoid system. Hello, dear human. It is my ecstatic pleasure to officially meet you. Your modern day science has known of my existence for the past 20 years, but evidently now is an opportune time that I reach out to you personally, for you are ready to know and I am in great need of your help. It is important that you acknowledge and begin to understand me. I request that you please do. Get ready for a paradigm shift of significant proportions. Underlying many of your diseases is an impaired endogenous cannabinoid system, hereafter endocannabinoid system or ECS, lacking vital nutrition, which is required for my health. The good news is you can change my state. You can change the condition of deficiency, bring me into a state of health, this bringing your entire body and mind systems into a state of health. I wish to communicate to you what I need from you in order for me to function effectively and keep you in a state of health, balance, homeostasis. It is easy to begin getting me healthy. More on this in a bit. Time to think different. Every now and again, certain truths reveal themselves to you that cause you to undergo a shift in how and or what you think about something. My existence in your body and the revelation that I require cannabinoids to not only thrive but survive is one such truth. You may discover more truth underneath this truth, but what is known can be brought to your awareness, which is a lot, a lot is known at present. Your discovery of me, the endocannabinoid system, by your scientists, took place about 20 years ago. Search Dr. Ralph McCoolum for details on the story of the momentous discovery of me. Human consciousness seems to have opened to and embraced this discovery, so much so that if you Google endocannabinoid system, you will see many pages of valuable information come up. This is an exciting time for you and me both. You should know that I have been with you since you were a teeny tiny microscopic embryo. I was there in the beginning, being formed when you were just being formed in your mama's womb. I am a very ancient and sophisticated central signaling system in and throughout your body, governing, directing certain major functions of your body. You and I are one. Now, with my help, you make natural biochemical compounds called endocannabinoids, cannabinoids made by humans, which bind to your, my, cannabinoid receptors in your body. These endocannabinoids are considered as mediators, signaling, sending messages, sharing data, conveying information between cells. Your cannabinoids are produced in a similar fashion to how your body produces endorphins. Your cannabinoid receptors, dubbed CB1 and CB2 receptors, are abundant throughout your brain, nervous system, your immune system, organs, your connective tissue, your bones, and other tissue. No matter where your scientists look, they are surprised to find me, the endocannabinoid system, involved in regulating bodily activity. A neat fun fact is that I am not just in your human bodies. Vertebrae animals and some invertebrate animals have me also. Now, cannabinoids, both the ones we make inside and the ones that come from outside plant sources, work with me to support health and well-being through homeostasis. Your scientists have found that a properly functioning ECS is essential to your physical and mental health. When I am deficient, in that which I need to properly function, the human body and mental conditions suffer needlessly. Some of my known major roles are, I control your immune system functions. I govern your food intake and gastrointestinal function. I control your energy storage and energy processing. I regulate inflammation and pain processing at peripheral, spinal, and supraspinal sites. When inflammation occurs, I act quickly to help stop the process, similar to applying the brakes on a moving vehicle. I govern female and male fertility. I regulate your mood. Clinical Endocannabinoid Deficiency Syndrome 
Endocannabinoids are part of a special group of neurochemicals of joy, such as endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and yes, your very own cannabinoids can make you feel good and experience a sense of well-being when you do certain activities like exercise, meditate, enjoy laughter and warm feelings, do mental stress relieving exercises, spending time with loved ones. These activities change the biochemical environment of your brain and likewise the thought energy atmosphere of your mind. What it results in is you feeling naturally good. A deficient, thus impaired endocannabinoid system underlies several neurological, immune, and metabolic disorders. That is, when I am lacking what I need to survive and thrive, this is the root cause or one of the major root causes of neurological, immune, and metabolic disorders. As you may already be hearing about, there is a new term that conveys a clinical acknowledgement of a deficient and impaired ECS and its effects. The term is cannabinoid deficiency syndrome, also endocannabinoid deficiency syndrome. You may also hear clinical endocannabinoid deficiency. It should be clear at this time that everybody makes cannabinoids and everybody needs cannabinoids to function. People who do not make enough cannabinoids should supplement with exogenous cannabinoids, similar to the way the diabetic needs to supplement with insulin. Please, of course, do your own verifications of what you have learned here, but I urge you to not delay in feeding me the nutrition I require. Below are several ways you can begin right now to uplift, heal, and improve my condition. Click on the link below to keep this information with you. Here are the seven tips for a healthy endogenous cannabinoid system. One, exercise supports production of and raises levels of endocannabinoids in both people and animals. Finding a physical activity that pleases you and doing more of it will stimulate production. Two, consume less alcohol. Alcohol interferes with your endocannabinoid production. Three, ingest daily or most days of the week potent hemp oils with full spectrum terpenes, flavonoids, waxes, and cannabinoids like CBD, CBG, and other phytonutrients that directly and indirectly affect the endocannabinoid system. Four, regularly ingest plants containing cannabinoids and cannabinoid-like compounds. Try echinacea, black pepper, cacao, and hemp seeds. Five, engage in stress-reducing activities such as meditation, listening to binaural beats, especially alpha wave-inducing ones, yoga, and sound meditations. Six, increasing omega-3 fatty acid consumption has been linked to upregulation of CB1 and CB2 receptors, as well as increased levels of endocannabinoid synthesis enzymes. A balanced ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 is a must, or the latter's supplementation may not be as therapeutically effective. Seven, decrease unhealthy negative dietary habits, which could impair proper metabolism of fatty acids and increase toxins in your body. Adding foods like hemp seeds, hemp oils, flat seeds, chia seeds, fish and eggs will provide proper three to six ratio. Also eat lots of fresh vegetables and fruits, ones that are organic and GMO free if you can. This will help flush toxins out of your body and bring vital phytonutrients to your cells. I'm your endocannabinoid system signing off. Cheers to your health and I can't wait for you to begin getting me healthy again.